Hello everyone, you are welcome to Anchor Network where you get reliable and authentic news that are so crucial to you. I say big thank you to everyone who has been part of this channel and who has taken time to subscribe. And if you are here to subscribe, I say please click the red subscribe button and also the bell icon. The bell icon will allow you to get notified anytime we publish any news. So guys, uh, this uh, Miyeti Allah people can never cease to amuse one. Most of the time they come out with some kind of a provocative uh, utterances. And you'll be wondering whether we still have a, a security people in this country because every little thing is a speech, a speech. Just like uh, Lai Mohammed, they are looking for who to find any little thing, oh, insults, a speech, this and that. But when these guys are making all this kind of a provocative uh, statement, nobody seems to hear them at all. There's a uh, there's something that is a Miyeti Hala boss I said Abdullahi Budeju. Let's hear he, what he said. He said, Ruga, only way to have peace in state. Miyeti Hala boss Abdullahi Budeju. National president of Miyeti Hala Kauta Ore Socio Cultural Organization, Abdullahi Budeju, has said that there was no basis for Fulani SME to apologize to Governor Samuel Autumn over alleged killings of Benue people. Over the weekend, stories went viral that Fulani Castle Breeders Association had apologized to Governor Autumn. Fuming with indignation, Bodejo in this interview that there was no basis for any apology because his members never killed anyone. He warned that any governor that wants to enjoy peace in his state must establish Ruga settlement for his men. Guys, can you hear that? That any, he warned, not that he warned. He's not just saying it. He warned that any governor that wants to enjoy peace in his state must establish Ruga settlement for his men. A question was thrown at him. It was reported over the weekend that the organization Miyeti Allah Kutawari has apologized to Benue state governor Samuel Autumn over the attacks and killings of Benue people by his men. What led to this apology? Was your conscience pricking you? He said, I am the national president of the Miyeti Hala Kauta Ori. I didn't apologize to anybody. Our organization didn't apologize to anybody because Fulani Esme didn't kill or hasn't killed anybody. I was surprised where journalists got that story. Maybe the journalists wanted story to say their papers. It is fake news. I'm not surprised that the chief press secretary to Governor Autumn was behind this. TV people are very good in propaganda. Autumn used propaganda and the anti-grazing law to win his second term election. Our National Secretary Saleh Hassan followed his friend, the Chief of Air Peace, Chief Alet Oyema to Benue for a function. Yes, Engineer Saleh has the right to attend any occasion in any part of this country, but not to go and apologize to anybody on what we didn't do. The Fulani didn't commit any offense to warrant any apology. Thank God that the chairman of APIS, who is not a Fulani, has come out to put the story straight that our secretary didn't apologize to anybody at the meeting. I'm the president of the organization and we have a national executive that the journalists could have called to verify. I'm still telling you that Saleh didn't apologize. Apologize for what and to whom? Miyeti Allah organization doesn't kill. We are not killers. So why should we apologize? It is awesome that you apologize for killing Fulani. The only thing we are fighting is the anti-open grazing law. We are in court and we will continue to pursue it in the court till we have victory. We are in court because we can't allow that law to work. We are in court both because we can't allow that law to work. We are insisting that Autumn should apologize to our organization. He's looking for every avenue to justify his anti-grazing law. He should apologize to Fulani in Nigeria for killing them, for destroying their businesses and damaging our names. Or your state is also coming with anti-grazing law. So it is not about Benue alone. He said, I am I have a meeting with our members. You know we have a way we monitor developments across the country as it affects our members. Benway started it. This is a gang up against the Fulani in this country or something they are doing to try to deny the Fulani their existence. Make them lose all their means. Make them lose all their means of livelihood. Even though we are talking of oil, 
let us go back to Benue, where it all started. They are now rearing cows. None of these cows belongs to Fulani. They have collected the business of rearing cows from the Fulani. They have succeeded in push pushing Fulani out of Benue State in order to take over their business of rearing cows. Autumn is also rearing cows. Nigerians have some to understand. Nigerians have come to understand that cattle rearing is a very lucrative business, and so that is why they are pushing the Fulani in order to take over their business. I'm aware the oil anti grazing law is the same thing with the with that of Benue, and they there are people also want to take over the business of cattle rearing from us. We have met with our lawyers to see how to go to Oyo to stop it. They want to terminate Fulani business in the country. If the governor wants to enact anti-grazing law, he has to have plans for the Fulani Esme. He has to cave, carve out a large portion of land for them, develop it when modern amenities and infrastructure for them to settle. He can't just push them out like that. Oyo has a very large land and they are supposed to carve a portion of for us. But they don't want to give us, but want to do the same thing that Benue State has done. From that, from what is going on, there are plans to terminate the Fulani business in the country. Like you suggested, the carving out of a portion of land with modern amenities for your people in Oyo, is it still in line with the Ruga project? Yes, you said yes. We are just saying the same thing, whether Ruga or Katsu Kaloni. But the only thing is that Fulani issue in Nigeria is being used to play politics. If you are losing election and you want to gain back lost ground, play the Fulani policies. If you want to win election in 2023, you can start using anti-grazing law. We have, gra we have grazing routes and grazing reserves. And if Nigeria wants to solve the SMA and farmers clashes once and for all, you are a governor. And you want to enjoy peace in your state, you don't need any long meeting. Just create a particular area for the Fulani and equip them with modern amenities. Instead of doing this, they are playing bad politics with Fulani. Since when the Ruga started, I'm yet to see any except the efforts being made by the Zamfara state governor. No other governor is doing anything about it. It is still policies. Look at the support given to rice farmers through Anchor Borrowers program. It is running into several billions of naira, and yet there is nothing for the Fulani business. Some people are saying cattle rearing is a private business, but the about 99% of the cows we are eating in this country are from Fulani. States are making revenues from cows. For example, in Lagos, over 6,000 cows are killed daily. And the state government is making so much money from that, that that is the way it is in other states of the country. These governors are not serious. That is why they are talking about anti-grazing laws. They are not serious in maintaining peace in their state. They are not serious in carrying everybody along. They want to politicize Fulani issues. See how they are criminalizing the Fulani man. These people... They are arrested for criminal activities and not Fulani. Some of them have learned Fulani languages and people say they are Fulani. Even small children have been made to believe that the problem of this country is the Fulani. But Fulani are very peaceful, peace-loving. They don't have any problem. Look at what happened in Benue. Our secretary went for a meeting and he met Autumn. Then it was told that he, was, he went to apologize. Apologize to who? Saleh can't apologize to anybody because no any Fulani killed anybody in Benue State. Let them go and ask the police and the DSS in, on the identity of the people they arrested. They are not Fulani people. You said Fulani didn't kill anybody in Benue. Who killed those people in Agatu, Benue State? He said, army and police made some arrests. All those they arrested were they Fulani. Go and ask the security men and and the identities of those arrested over the killings. Police prosecuted those involved in the killings. Go and find out who they are. The anti-grazing law is the main project of Autumn and its people. It is because of the anti-grazing law that Autumn won his re-election. And that is why he is carrying it on his head. Another thunder storm killed some cows in Ondo State last week. Do you suspect foul play? 
He said thunder is a natural occurrence. Why journalists are writing about this is issue is because it's happened where they can assess. But in the bushes and forests, it is common. This is from God. We cannot say that somebody invoked thunder to kill Fulani cows. The last time it happened, where about 36 cows were killed by thunder, you asked the government to pay the owner compensation. Do you still have? Do you still stand by that? He said, all the people in the state and animals, including chickens, pigeons, etc., are under a governor, and the governor can do anything to help anybody who has one problem or the other. A governor who has a large heart and wants to carry everybody along ought to support the owner of the cows. It is an appeal because the Fulani doesn't have any other business except cow. Cow is their business, company, industry, and everything. The Southwest, Southeast governors and the organizers about two months ago banned the movement of cows in the region by leg and directed any cow coming into the region must be by vehicular transportation but your members are still not obeying that are they not being lawless he said no they are not lawless all these small small laws remember nigeria has one constitution the nigerian constitution is already guiding us on how we can do our business you can go to southwest south east south south etc and do your business without violating the constitution these governors should not tell us how to do our business on how to move our cows they have money so if they want to be Using vehicle to bring our cows, there is no problem so long as they would be the ones to provide the trucks free of charge to us. It is part of the policies. No bribe can say this. No tribe can say this tribe or the other tribe cannot do business or businesses in their area. Fulani are different from every other tribe in this country. They are very peaceful and they are so large in this country. I don't want anybody to put eyes into the Fulani because some bad politicians from the north southwest southeast and south south are demonizing fulani as criminals it is very simple let the southeast governors provide the vehicles to convey our cows to their area then we can call our people to make use of use of the vehicle is there anybody that wants to suffer why will i trek from kano to enugu when there is a free vehicle for me trekking long distance is very painful it is done because there is no option but we welcome it with both hands if the governors provide with us free trucks. If they cannot provide the trucks for us free, they should allow us to continue with our suffering by trekking long distances. Let them provide security for everybody, especially our people, to do their business. There is this story of cow disease spreading in the country and some states are about banning the consumption of cow meat. What is your organization doing to arrest this? He said... That is why I say that our leaders are doing the wrong thing. What are they doing to solve the problem? If they ban the killing and consumption of cows in their state, is it the dog they will be eating or rats? Is it bush meat they will be killing in the village and take them to those in the town? It can't work. Let them devise means to get vaccines for the cows. Fulani have been paying for the vaccines. Nobody gives them drugs free. Let them provide the vaccines and they are veterinary doctors in their state. They can guide the full learning so that everybody will be eating healthy cow meat in Nigeria. Wow. This, you guys can hear these uh, people. They are so arrogant. That's one thing about them. You know the way he's talking that that is, if anybody wants to have peace, if those governors if they want to have peace in your state, just create ruga. Like people have been saying, whether livestock, whether colony, colony or whether uh, ruga of it, everything is still ruga. They just want it across the country because they feel that it is their right to be everywhere. They don't want to follow the law. They are saying they have to be moving from places to places. They are the ones suffering that if anybody wants them to be, you know, transporting these cows by vehicle, they should provide it free of charge for them. That that is what they want. But if any governor or any state really wants peace, let them provide a place, a land of portion. That is exactly what we are talking about. They just want that portion of land to be given to them. Then you put all those amenities. They are still standing on this thing. And some governors are falling for it. Thank God for Benue State. Thank God for or your state. You see what they are saying? That they are going to oppose it to the last. They don't want this. Uh, they, don't, they don't want this anti-grazing law to exist. 
you can imagine in Benway State, nobody ever told you to leave the con uh, the state. They all say don't go into open grazing, and you chose the choice. You know, you chose uh, the option of you not uh, being in a place, go into ranching. And if you can't go into ranching, then people who are ready to go into ranching will do it if your people are not ready. And that was why they left, majority of them left Benway State. So they should not come and be telling us cock and boo stories. If you want to do this, uh, this uh, cattle rearing, stay in a particular place. Nobody's going to give you money for free because you are encroaching. There's no way you can say, oh, you are just striking that you have a, 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 a route that you follow. If really you follow routes, then why are we having clashes? If there's a designated road that you follow from places to places, then why encroaching in somebody's land? Why does it mean you are just going on your own, then the farmers will not now come and meet you and start uh, fighting you no it is not like that because your cows there is no way you'll be following through all those routes that you will not encroach somebody's farms and that's where the problem is coming from and they say they are still going to oppose that of a uh, or your state because they want to take their businesses is that is a big cow business the only business that is making people to be rich in this country that is the question these guys need to know so because of a uh, uh, you guys are making money so there are no other business that you know that that people make money from that because of that the governors they want to take over your business so that they will take you out this attitude of that you can move anywhere or you can go do anything you like anywhere will not be tolerated and as and as many that want to any state that want to tolerate it whatever you get from it so be it but from what this guy is saying if you really want peace because they don't want to back down or not moving from places to places they don't want to back down and if you want them to be in a particular place you know if you want them not to be moving you must provide land for them and put all manner of amenities for them and that is exactly what the government wants to do and they are still insisting it uh, they might be bringing a lot of uh, you know changing the names or oh, twisting it but it still means the same thing so people who are always saying these guys are just disguising using livestock national livestock uh, using colony uh, using whatever it is all about spreading these people all over the country and they have a long-term plan if people don't really you know if you don't if they don't take a caution or if they don't realize this they should just know it so guys leave your comments below in the comment section concerning what this guy is saying that if you want peace you must give them land and provide all manner of uh, amenities so that they can stay in one place if you really want peace leave your comments and let's hear your own take thank you very much bye